Good afternoon. Thanks for being here today. Today, it's our pleasure to announce the results of a four-month-long investigation into a violent criminal street gang that's based here in San Bernardino, West Side Verdugo. This gang's been known to law enforcement since the 1950s. And as a result of a number of violent crimes that occurred in the city of San Bernardino, we formed a task force made up of the California Department of Justice, the DA's office, Fontana Police Department, San Bernardino Police Department, along with the California Highway Patrol. Probation also participated. This task force attacked this violent street gang, resulting in over 80 arrests, over 40 firearms being seized, and hundreds of pounds of narcotics, heroin, cocaine, methamphetamine, and marijuana. This partnership was critical to bringing all of these suspects to justice. It's now my pleasure to introduce from the California Department of Justice, Chris Caligiuri. Thank you, Chair. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris Caligiuri. I'm the Assistant Director of the Division of Law Enforcement at the California Department of Justice. On behalf of Attorney General Xavier Becerra, I want to thank all the federal, state, and local law enforcement partners who worked for the successful conclusion of this investigation into the Sereno criminal street gang. This investigation was an essential law enforcement collaboration that resulted in a safer community for the general San Bernardino area. The Special Operations Unit is a collaborative investigative effort between the California Department of Justice and the California Highway Patrol, which provides statewide enforcement for combating violent career criminals, gangs, organized crime groups, along with interstate drug traffickers. In 2014, the Office of the Attorney General, California Department of Justice, and the Highway Patrol worked together with the legislature and Governor Brown's administration to secure $9.4 million for the California DOJ Bureau of Investigation Special Operations Unit teams. These unique and essential teams use the latest technology and advanced investigative techniques and work alongside local law enforcement to enhance investigations into violent criminal and organized crime throughout the state of California. Thank you. And introducing DA Rollins. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> thank you very much for your, your partnership. It was years ago we declared a war on gangs in San Bernardino County, myself with the sheriff, the sheriff's department. But I knew when we went into this that it was gonna take a partnership, a, a cooperative approach because we can't do it alone. So it's wonderful to see our, not only our local law enforcement here, California Highway Patrol, the San Bernardino Police Department, uh, one of the best sheriff's departments in the nation, and our federal partners. And I wanna thank the Attorney General, the Department of Justice now, for really helping us in going after these gangs. And I'm talking about the territorial gangs, uh, not the transitional gangs that are coming from other counties, but gangs that have been here for sometimes decades as I talk to Chief Reguan about these, I call them local terrorists, who terrorize our citizens. Yeah, they're dealing drugs, you see the guns they use, but every, every so often the worst scenario is an innocent bystander gets, gets assaulted, hurt, murdered. This district attorney's office is gonna to continue to hold these people responsible. We've filed over 28 of these individuals our gang prosecution unit, our vertical prosecution unit is working with these officers to get more of them held responsible as we continue to go down this path. Because our goal is, is as we win these battles, we're gonna declare and we're gonna win victory on the war on gangs to make this a safer community for all of us. So that's my comment to you and those of you out there that decide that you, perhaps you wanna choose that lifestyle. If you do, make sure you know we will get you we will hold you responsible because of these players, these teammates that we have here that really take these matters seriously. So I wanna thank the sheriff as well for, do, for allowing us to continue to work cooperatively in going after what I call our local terrorists. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you, Mike. The partnership is critical to our overall success. And along with our state and federal partners, we're able to make a difference 
And you all know that these criminal street gangs prey on the young children in our communities, whether it be in the schools or in the neighborhoods. They recruit those young children to be, a life, be involved in a life of crime. And we'll do everything in our power to prevent that from occurring. Happy to answer any questions. Yes, sir. Sure. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure I do. Done. Right. DA Kestrin brought up something that I thought was kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. You know what? Because of AB 109 and because of Prop 47, there are so many of these people that you can charge them with state charges. Right. And they may not serve as much time. So right. what they're trying to do is see in all of their investigation if they can find any federal charges. Yeah. Well, let me, let me answer that twofold. And, and uh, I did see that yesterday, and it's good to see our, our neighboring county that is taking this matter seriously, DA Hester, and he is. Uh, one of the things that's really important and why it's so important that we have experts regarding gang investigations is gang enhancements can pull those out of the AB 109 and the 57 so they can actually go to state prison. So that's why uh, when we put these cases together, it's really important that we add those charges and those enhancements, and it's in furtherance of the gang and the gang conspiracy. So that's one time. As far as federal, you know, we have federal investigators here, and we have weapons here, and that's something that the U.S. Attorney's Office, we, we always work cooperatively with them, and if there are some charges that the U.S. Attorney's Office would take, we'd be happy to assist them in doing that as well, because they do have uh, tougher sentencing guidelines compared to this state. I'll be honest with you. Are they looking into that, or is there anyone here that can speak to that? I, I'm not sure in this in this matter. Do you know? Do you know, Chris? Yeah, I, I, I don't know that. Anything else? Can you tell us how many people have been arrested and how many firearms you have got? What else you find inside the houses? Yeah, over 80 people were arrested in this operation. We seized over 40 firearms, including some that you see here on this table today, and hundreds of pounds of narcotics, including cocaine, methamphetamine, heroin, and marijuana. How many locations do you test for? Mike, you want to talk about locations? Yeah, we had roughly uh, 25 targets at the we had roughly uh, 25 targets at the conclusion of the investigation, and uh, I believe we uh, were able to arrest, effect arrest on 23 of those individuals. So we have two that are outstanding. Can you tell us a little bit more about the West Side Verdugo gang? Uh, with respect to, it's a Hispanic gang originated in the 1950s. Uh, it's a homegrown turf gang in San Bernardino, um, multiple subsets. Um, a history of violent crimes, including murder, murder extortion, robbery, carjackings, um, the slew of what we, what we consider the dirty 33 or crimes that are eligible for gang enhancements. I heard the first part, the, uh, the name of the operation was Operation Greenhand. And I apologize, I didn't hear the second part of that. Oh, yeah. How many months have you been working with? Uh, roughly four months. Okay, we're good. All right, thank you all.